China has become the world's largest car exporter, overtaking Japan. Exports increased by about 60% in the first quarter. From January to April this year, Chinese car companies exported a total of 1.37 million vehicles, an increase of around 60%. Well, let's talk to uh, Jim Holder, the uh, car industry expert. Um, good to see you, Jim. Um, well, uh, this is a big moment, isn't it? What do you make of it? Yeah, it's incredibly significant. China has been plotting this moment for over a decade, investing early in electric cars, growing its own homeland uh, appetite for its own models, building that strong base at home that is now giving it the freedom to launch abroad. It's tried it before with combustion engine models and struggled, but now it sees its opportunity and it, it's been planning to launch these EVs across the globe for some time and it's gathering momentum. And Jim, is that the end of this race? I mean, if you're sitting in uh, Japan tonight running a big Japanese car company, I mean, are you simply throwing in the towel? Is that the end of it or would you fight back? And if so, how? Yeah, absolutely. These companies do not throw in the towel. Uh, there is more to come. I think China has bet heavily on the full battery electric uh, technology as its stepping stone to this uh, giant moment. But I think what we've seen is the Japanese manufacturers, you know, reasonably being accused of being laggards into battery electric technology, but they are catching up fast. You look at the likes of Toyota, the world's largest car maker, it has serious plans to launch 10 new EVs in the next couple of years. It is going to go down that line of technology, but it is also looking very strong on hybrid technology, plug-in hybrid technology, even hydrogen technology. And I think a lot depends on where the technology race leads us. But certainly they have a race on their hands and they need to respond. I guess that so many countries have their moment in the sun, don't they? I mean, if, if you're German, uh, American, Japanese, um, British, Chinese, you have your moment of glory and then we look ahead to what's next and India I guess sees itself as the challenger to China and the United States how soon before India becomes uh, top dog and the world's biggest car market so India today is the fourth largest car market in the world around five million sales per year you've got to look uh, in the context of China being the world's largest at 25 million new car sales so it has a long way to go but it absolutely has the population it has the growing economy it has all the ingredients to expand that fast and what we've seen in China is exactly what India is hoping will happen that it can exponentially uh, build its wealth that people will go into buying vehicles and it will grow quickly I think the one unknown is how adaptable the Indian market is to the move towards electrification. I think the infrastructure challenges there are much greater uh, and whether that will throttle back their growth remains to be seen. Jim, good to talk to you. Thanks for coming on the programme again. Jim Holder, the uh, car industry expert.